I'm Robin Higgins and this is how to explain atom bonding to kids. Okay, so I think to explain it to little children, probably the best thing is to make some kind of building analogy. Um, so you could talk about bricks or Legos and say that to build something you need lots of little tiny bricks, bricks smaller than the eye can see, but they're there and you know a structure can be built like that. So that's one way to use bricks or a building. Um, another way, it, it might be a little bit more interactive, is also just to hold hands. and say that when two people are next to each other, they're like atoms, and if they hold hands, then they're bonding. And if they want to, they can let go and then go back to just being atoms. Again, obviously a child isn't going to understand the greater implications of atoms and their various bonds, um, but this is at least a couple of the most basic ideas. And I think another good way might be with magnets. So with magnets, if you have a bunch of refrigerator magnets or something, you can kind of see once again how they can be separate or together. And then this is even a little bit more complicated because sometimes they're repulsed by each other and so uh, you can say sometimes atoms are like that and atoms only want to bond with certain other atoms at certain angles and not all of them will just do it all at once. Um, so yeah, I would say start with these three analogies and then also, I mean it's good that you're teaching your kids science but that's probably not super necessary if they're that young. They'll be fine is what I'm saying. The brick thing will be good enough. I'm Robin Higgins and this is How to Explain Atom Bonding to Kids.